Good morning, everybody. The sun is just now starting to clear the trees. And I've already been out in the garden for a little while. And I got exciting news. We've had rain every day since I planted the garden. And look at that, guys. Those are my mustard. No, I'm sorry. Those are turnip greens. Those are to be cut as leaf, leafy vegetables. And then up from there, I don't know if you can see it with this. But there's a bunch of regular turnips growing as well. I kept them in the same row so I can harvest leaves, even from the ones putting on bulbs. Now, I also have, I got a cat following me. <laughs> if you can see that, that is the broccoli coming in. And then right beside the turnips is the cabbage. So that's a success so far. These are all my winter crops. This morning, I planted two rows here of Swiss chard. So I put those in this morning. It'll probably be oh, maybe four days till we see some sprouting, maybe sooner because we are getting some cooler weather coming in and we're getting rain, which is great. It keeps me from having to use our rain catch water to water the garden because that's not the only purpose we catch it for. We live off of that water right now. Okay, and the other thing, you see the bananas are doing good. Yeah, they're following me too. They're right here. <laughs> really quiet and calm. And my other news is, this is where I planted carrots. And I can, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but I got carrots sprouted already. Carrots has been one of the hardest things for me to ever grow. And I didn't realize, I guess, that I, I need to, one, plant them in wet soil, two, keep the soil wet till they're sprouting, and just make sure they get watering periodically. I still have a lot of cleanup to do. I gotta clean this whole corner up, that's my goal. But I'm pacing myself and planting what I can plant right now in the areas that I have opened and cleared. Peppers, so-so, I haven't pulled them yet, but I might. My collard greens from summer are all eaten up. I'll be pulling those and throwing those to the chickens. And one of the other things I'm doing, which I'm putting these chickens to work, because one of my biggest issues is having chickens that aren't earning their keep. So what I've done is I've thrown their morning feed into this area and they've already pulled some of the weeds around this fruit tree. So I'm having them pull the dig and poop and do their thing here in the orchard. So everybody's kind of like, what are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, they'll, they'll continue to come back to this spot all day. As you can see him scratching, that's what we want. What he's doing is disturbing the ground and um, they'll actually scratch to the point where these plants come out of the ground. And then that's good. Whether they eat the greens or not, I don't really know, but they may. But they're definitely doing some scratching. As you can see, this area here was all growing up in weeds. And I've been throwing their seed in about from here on back. You can see how there's a few plants. That's it. And it was getting like this. So it's about using your animals and your um, livestock in a way that benefits you and them. Because by digging, they're going to find bugs and hopefully ticks and fleas and whatever else they can find. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he scratches with his crippled toe, but he does. But the whole goal here is scratch and fertilize. Yes, my laundry is up and it's rained every day since I hung them up. So we'll just let them hang. I don't have a dryer. <laughs> Are you being crazy? <laughs> Are you being crazy, cat? Is he being crazy? Do you agree? Yeah, he's being crazy. Let's see what else he's doing. He is such a kitten yet. There he is. What are you doing, Smokey? Smokey. Meow. Meow, meow. Smokey. Hi. 
I'm missing a hen. This is red, and Bubbles is the one that looks like her, but another half of her. So I don't know where red is, or Bubbles is. She's probably hiding from the boys. <laughs> red, now this one was living up the driveway for well over two weeks. Never came down for feed, nothing, and look at her. She's doing fine. Look at that tail on her. Pretty, pretty girl. But she she probably lost a little weight, not a lot, and she was foraging that entire two weeks because she didn't want to be down here with these roosters. Now she's finally come back, and we're making sure she gets into the feeding scenario. Every time I put food out, I make sure she's in the area. Right, Red? Got to fatten you up. <laughs> Look at this. Cats and roosters. Run, kitty, run! That rooster's bigger than you. And uh, my little troublemaker's over here hiding in that brush. I see you. Hi. <laughs> Smokey, a mama sees you. What are you doing, kitty? There he goes, there he goes. <laughs> he's just being frisky because he's not afraid of us, not by any means. Oh, goodness. I gotta collect eggs too. There should be six eggs in here this morning. Yep. There's my laying hens and one rooster. The reason we added a rooster to this scenario was so the eggs would get fertilized. And he's doing his job, so I'm sure they're fertilized. And now it's just a matter of deciding when do we want to get an incubator and start hatching eggs. You garden your girls? Mm -hmm. They're wanting some feed. All right, we'll get you some feed. The reason this is partially open is because I fed the other chickens already. I'll give them a big, see that big cup? It's like two cups of, so we put, put them on scratch. Because it's one, it's cheaper and I'm feeding a lot of chickens. To me, it's a lot. And we thought we'd save a little money and just see how they did on scratch. And they seem to really enjoy it. <laughs> Look at this. Mom's got the cup yet. Look at her looking up. She'll try and fly at it. Watch. <laughs> Goofy chickens. And we just put the rest in here. So they've got some on the ground to scratch, which is their nature. And the rest goes in their bin. See if we can collect some eggs here. Yesterday, I did not collect eggs. We were kind of busy. We weren't home most of the day. There's five, so someone didn't lay yet this morning. So I'll have to check back. It's hard to do because I have my head holding up the roof or the door. And look at all the bedding in there. That is done on purpose. Look at the little nest they made here. But that is done on purpose so that it controls odors and it gets fertilized. When we go to clean this out, everything comes out this door that I'm standing in and goes to the garden. All right, see if I can do this without dropping my eggs. <laughs> I usually average three eggs a day because we've got three hens and it's pretty consistent. Now, once in a while, we'll only get maybe one egg, but it's rare. Someone's picking at my feet. <sighs> None of my, now my roosters will square off with each other, but not with us at all. They respect us and they'll turn and walk away if we get too close. None of them have challenged us. So, so far they're real sweet roosters, which is why it's hard to make that decision to call the roosters, but it has to be done. Now, just in case I don't get back out here real soon, I gotta go on a seed hunt. I wanna get some more seeds in the garden. And um, I got some firewood I gotta stack. And then go back and there's another load for me to bring over. So I'm gonna do that. But I wanna hunt some more collard seeds and maybe some kale and whatever else I can find. So I'm trying to get more seeds planted in the garden. That's my update for today, guys. It ain't much, but I was so excited about the new growth in the garden I had to share. Y'all have a great day. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and have a blessed day.